thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, Sibanyu, thank you as well for coming. Well, the, the coaches keep on telling us to stay in the game, play together, develop whatever we used to, whatever we used to practice. So, time to time, we try to go on to what we know. We try to, to stay together, we try to play our type of basketball, we try to, to do what we know. Never mind on what is coming for us or what are we going against, but we are trying to introduce our style of basketball. Um, yes, I, I think definitely um, we're going to get over that hurdle. Um, the first two quarters we started off very, very well. Yeah. Um, and again, if the players follow instructions and follow the game plan, we were successful. Third quarter, they start to doing their own things and we moved away from our goal pl game plan and that's when Zamalek scored all of that points. So it's about sticking to structure and stay together with what we've planned before the game. So, Coach, is this the message that has already been passed into the locker room or you still have to go back with the team to look at the video to see where uh, where the players heard or where you guys heard collectively as a team to be able to... Because you're back in the arena tomorrow against uh, Force Army Police of Cameroon. Is this, this message, has it already been transmitted to the team or is it something that we're going to do between today and the game of tomorrow? Yeah, look, we, we did have a video session today mm -hmm. um, and then we've showed them exactly how good we look when we play together, when we play within the system. Mm -hmm. By the moment players want to play ISO basketball, we look bad as a team, we don't execute and opposition can take, take the advantage from that and, and that's what happened today. Uh, we, we, when, you, when you look at the way your team play, like the, the way your teammates, you guys played together in the, in the, in the, first, uh, in the first half of this in, in, in encounter, do, do, what, what are some of the positive aspects, because we want us to dwell on, what are some of the positive aspects that you, you picked from this game, which you can replicate in, in the next three games? Well, the, the one positive aspect we have to use is us staying together, it's us playing our type of basketball. Because whatever we got playing together, it's good results. But now, when uh, time goes, we some of us decide to play ISO basketball, it looks terrible. But us sticking together, it works for us. That's what we've been practicing to do. That's what we've been told to do. Question, Lindsay. Coach, what impact did it have to have Billy and Jamel on the starting? team tonight as opposed to in the first game? Did it have a big impact on the morale and also on your game plan? Yes, it's, um, I'm happy you touched on that point. Um, going back to Monday's game, you've been training for two months with five players as a starting five. You work on a structure and suddenly a few hours before the game you must now replace. Guys' mindsets must change. Normally they get four or five minutes, now they must get 15 to 20 minutes. So it was good to have them back. But I also just feel that if they played, this was going to be our second game together in the Basketball Africa League, and then continu continuity would have been better as a team. Um, I think we're going to get better. I see this officially as our first game where we played the 12. So definitely positive results tomorrow and, and the days to come. But it's good to have them back. back. Um, one thing that, that the opposition couldn't do was ball pressure because both Jamel and... Um, and Billy a good ball endless. So I was happy they couldn't press us. Uh, Festile played a better game because of that. So a lot of positives to take out of out of the loss. Okay, we're go we're going to start this uh, post game press conference um, between the of the game between the Cape Town Tigers and uh, from South Africa and Zamlek Basketball, which is the host team of the Nike Conference of the Basketball Africa League. I'll just give a reminder of the final score, Cape Town Tigers 74, 77, sorry, and Zamalek 101 points. Um, thank you very much, Edgar and Coach Bill, for joining us uh, this evening. Coach Will, it's a game of numbers. One, two, three, four, five of your players scored double-digit points. Uh, 22 assists and the efficiency rate of 121. The team, Zamalek, despite the pressure of playing at home, positive pressure, of course, is cruising to Kigali. 
is that your opinion? I, and then let me just ask the question I asked the Petros coach. Are you overly confident or you're just doing your job? That's a team. Yeah, I was going to say that didn't, that didn't feel like cruising uh, <laughs> to me. Um, you know, that's a good Cape Town team. That's a much different team than what played against uh, Petro. Um, you know, they were missing their two best players in that first game. Um, and, you know, we were down at the half. So uh, that, that was a hard-fought win. Um, I think our guys did a really great job responding uh, at halftime. And, and I think I told them in the locker room, I think the, the half of basketball that they – put on the floor in the second half is as good as I've seen at any level uh, in a long time. So if we can sustain that, then yeah, um, you know, that that would be great. But we know, uh, you know, these teams are, are all good. They're here for a reason. So we've got to be that good uh, in our next game and, and every game after that. Uh, okay, the uh, coach بيقول إن الأول ال coach بيقول إن هو إن Cape Town uh, team كويس جدا طبعا وإن هما الزمالك uh, عمل شغل كويس قوي عشان هو يكسب وإن طبعا زي ما كلنا شفنا إن second half كان أحسن بكتير جدا وإن هو ما شافش كده في long time يعني في وقت طويل وإن هما محتاجين يفضلوا على كده عشان يعرفوا يكسبوا الماتشات الجاية إن شاء الله we have a question from Zoom. Uh, coach, congratulations for the, for the win. Actually, I have this one question. In the first half, uh, Captain Tiger seems to play a lot of defense, switching from zone to man to man and post some defensive stop. Uh, I wonder what are you going to do some, uh, what are you going to do some adjustments when you're playing against Petro de Luanda, you're playing on Friday again. Uh, because they are so good at switching defense and doing all those all those tricks. And there are there any adjustments that you're going to take on the next game? Yeah, that's a, a good question. Um, Obviously, I don't want to give Petro our scouting report in our press conference, but um, they're, you know, they're a, a really aggressive uh, defensive team. Um, you know, they trap a lot. So I think uh, for us, there's some lessons we can learn from this game uh, that will help us. Um, and I'll tell you what they were after the game against Petro. Mm -hmm. السؤال كان لو في اي تعديلات هتتعمل على الماتش الجاي عشان يلعبوا زي ما لعبوا النهارده والاجابه كانت ان هو طبعا مش عايز يحرق اللي هيحصل بس هو ممكن يتكلم عن الحاجات دي بعد اما ماتش يوم الجمعه يخلص اوكي لنا كوتش هافين اوريدي وون ذس تورنمنت بيفور what do you feel is driving Anas to continue producing at such a high level? Um, well, I mean, he's a really good player. And to me, that's what really good players do. Um, you know, I, I cut my teeth as a coach under Greg Popovich, and I remember him always saying that what separates the great players is that they do it every night. Uh, so I think you know, for him, he, he, you know, is in that echelon of, you know, a great player. Uh, and that means that, you know, you're motivated to give your best and play it at that level every single time you take the floor. Lindsay. Um, okay. Go ahead with the translation. Um, can the first be all eh, or the Kali accept the Bhutura Tani, my no Xibha Ablekeda, or Eli Hafizul da? فالكوتش رد وقال ان هو طبعا في كذا حاجه تخليه يعني التيم بالذات البلايرز اللي عنده ان هم يكون عندهم تحفظ لده. سبو ادجا دو يو فيل ذات يو جايز سلايتلي اندر استيميتد ذا تايجرز ان ادفانس اند وات ات كوتش سي ات هاف تايم تو يو جايز يا ام I definitely don't think that we underestimated them. I think we knew their talent and their strength uh, coming into this game. 
Um, in the first half, coach just told us that we were lacking energy. Uh, we were playing their game, a kind of slow down, slow paced game, letting them uh, get to their strengths. And at halftime, coach just told us that we have to rev it up a little bit, push the energy, push the tempo, try to tire them out because they're playing a short rotation. And uh, that's what we did, and it, it, it worked to our benefit. Yeah, there's a question for the coach has the question. Xavier for Peter said that he knows you very well. And Xavier uh, for you, it would be like individual game between you and them because he loves your tricks in uh, his uh, games and he will be very excited for the match. So if you have any message for Mugera and Xavier to give you. <laughs> 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 He's trying to stir something up. Uh, I mean, obviously, I know those guys really well. Um, I coached them on the national team for a number of years. Uh, I think really highly of a lot of the guys on that team. I, I could text him my response. So, you know, we still have that kind of relationship. Um, but, uh, you know, I love the guys in our locker room and, you know, I wear Zemelik on my chest right now. So, or I guess not tonight, but <laughs> but normally. Uh, so, um, it, you know, when when I see them in the cafeteria at the hotel, you know, we we hug and catch up. But when we walk out onto this floor, you know, now we're we're enemies, um, and that's just the way sports works.